to start this, we're going to have Daniel place both his feet on the starting line. Then he's going to step back with his left foot. And then we're going to have him place his right foot another four to six inches back from his left. He's going to place his right hand on the starting line. He's going to bring his left hand back. He's going to load the left knee, place his nose to his knee. And this is how we'll begin the test. This is the portion of the test that involves circular motion and speed. You want to keep it tight around the cones and plant that inside foot. A common mistake is squaring the cuts and not rounding them, which allows for that full acceleration. Okay, as Daniel demonstrated outside, once we get our athlete down into their three point stance, we're going to start them on a three count. So count them down three, two, one. After we count down, it's going to be a three step bound to the first cone. We're going to have them do a one, two hitch step back. Another three step bound to the initial cone. After they reach the initial cone, it's going to be a two step hitch uh, touchback. And then a double arm action pump into the acceleration phase around the second cone. When doing the three cone test, the first thing you want to make sure you don't do is don't touch the cones. The second thing is when you're going towards the second cone, you always want to face the cone, then come back to the first cone. And when you're going up and around, the third cone, you want to go towards the bottom in a circular motion, not a square motion, back around the top of the second cone and back to the first cone. Three cone tests are the L test. Why do we use it? Uh, it assesses power. In the first five yards, you're exploding through, forward to the cone and back. Uh, it also assesses circular motion, change in direction, agility. Uh, why is that important? Athletes who have to shift a lot, uh, change direction a lot, this will really help them out. Uh, you see that in sports like basketball, soccer, even football. Uh, it's, it's really popular in football. You see it a lot in the NFL combine. So anybody who's trying to go, go to the league, this is a good drill for you. Mm -hmm. 